Hello Ride On people. Well a couple of days ago I found myself in a very fortunate situation of being at my uh, preferred Triumph dealer which is Hourglass Cycles of uh, Buford in Georgia uh, when they just had delivery of not only the 2020 Rocket 3R but also a customer's Triumph Factory Custom Rocket 3 and even more fortunate to see that they dynoed both bikes uh, on the same day at the same time whilst I was there watching and uh, they even gave me printouts of the dyno figures so I don't think anybody anywhere actually has dynoed a Triumph Factory Custom and a regular, uh, for want of a better expression, uh, Rocket 3 anywhere in the world actually I don't think so a bit of a scoop here and uh, here's a little bit of footage of uh, a black R running on the dyno Yeah, she howls. It's got a lovely Triumph triple whistle and it goes to like a jet thrust engine sound uh, higher up the rev range. Um, most bikes are run on the dyno in fourth gear. Uh, that's because sometimes bikes with a lot of torque are restricted in the lower gears and they don't always rev out fully in the higher gears. So typically fourth gear is the one used. And I saw on the dyno that uh, they took it up to about 128 miles an hour. So I'm not sure what the total top speed is in the uh, in sixth top gear, um, but um, it can shift, that's for sure. Anyway, let's have a look at the figures. And um, I think we'll start with the overall um, bottom line figures of maximum horsepower and maximum torque, both for the R3 and then the uh, Triumph Factory Custom. And um, I think the figures are uh, slightly surprising in some ways and uh, uh, not so much in others. So uh, without further ado, let's have a look at the actual results. Okay, so if we begin with the Roadster, the Rocket 3R, Triumph claim at the crank 165 horsepower and 163 torques. At the rear wheel, where it matters, uh, we would just, uh, if we round it up, we're looking at 147 horsepower and 148 torques, which is hugely impressive actually. Um, Crank figure is always taken by the manufacturer, only really the manufacturer can do it. They strap an engine literally to a bench and they put a shaft straight through to 
the crank and they take a measurement from there. But it, back in the real world, um, a vehicle will lose a lot of power through out its transmission it'll lose the least with a chain drive it'll lose a little bit more with a belt drive and it will lose the most with a shaft drive because essentially you're going up in weight and friction each time now typically you'll lose about <coughs> you'll lose about 10 to 12 percent through a chain and a shaft drive will lose uh, on average between Anywhere between typically 15 to 17 percent, say. However, uh, when we look at the delta of the crank claim figure for horsepower from Triumph of 165 versus rear wheel 147, uh, the rear wheel delta is uh, down 18 horsepower, but that is only 11 percent, which is uh, astoundingly good. And it's even better with the torque. Triumph claim 163. The dyno put out 148, which is down 15. And that's only 9.34%. Now, what you've got to bear in mind here is that, A, that's, that's as good as uh, a chain drive, basically, but this it has the convenience of shaft drive. And, B, um, it just shows, A, how efficient modern shaft drives are and b just how sorted triumph have this shaft drive on the 2020 rocket it's quite incredible because the long and short is this is a box fresh engine now you put three to five thousand miles on it and it's easily easily being conservatively being conservative for a hundred and you know 47 horsepower rear wheel engine it's going to put out another five brake within 3,000 mile or so. So essentially what we're saying is once your bike's fully run in, let's call it 3,000 miles for argument's sake, a bog standard Rocket 3 is going to put out in excess of 150 horsepower and 150 torques at the back wheel. And that's astounding. Very impressive indeed. Now let's move to the Triumph Factory Custom now the Triumph Factory Custom has um, an arrow exhaust system and a few few tweaks and slightly different tuning. And Triumph claim uh, a bit more, they claim 14 horsepower more for the Triumph Factory Custom. So they are claiming 179 at the crank and 163 torque. So nothing in it torque wise, but a little bit more horsepower at the top end. However, on the dyno on the day, uh, we could see 152 at the rear wheel for horsepower and 149 for torques. So in terms of horsepower, quite a, quite a bit loss or quite a bit down on the claim. Let's put it that way, Triumph's claim. 26, uh, nearly 27 horsepower there and uh, rounding up 17 torques. And that would be more kind of in line with what I would expect um, in theory, uh, although we've already explained how the standard Roadster has exceeded those expectations. But in terms of my pre-seeing uh, the data expectations, I expected the, um, the horsepower to drop about 15%, and that's exactly on the money for the Triumph Factory Custom, and the torque is down uh, 10%. So the bottom line is, between the two bikes, the Triumph Factory Custom is essentially putting out another six horsepower and uh, another um, one pound per feet of torque. And so there's not a vast amount of difference when we're talking 150 horsepower or, or thereabouts. So overall, some big numbers from the uh, 2020 Triumph Rocket 3, and um, I can say seat of the pants, um, having ridden it briefly, uh, that seems about right, seems about on the money, and uh, it's a very impressive bike, get the opportunity to ride one, please do, let me know in the comments what you think, and um, thanks for watching the video. Well I hope you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate all your feedback and support for the Ride On channel. 
I hope you're already a Ride On subscriber, but if not, please subscribe straight away. And last but not least, ride often, ride carefully, ride on.